roses. They are one of the most well-known and well-loved flowers in the world, but they are expensive. I had a, a, did a Google search to find out how easy it was to grow a rose from seed. So I um, found a YouTube video, Fraser Valley Rose Farm, and he shows the very simple steps to grow a rose from seed. The first thing you need are rose hips. These can be collected at the end of the year. Um, I have a favourite rose bush near me. It is huge, beautiful red roses. You smell them before you see them. And I really wanted to get one of those. So I um, saw him in the garden one day and I asked him very kindly, um, I'm actually planning to try and grow a rose from seed and I was wondering if I could take a hip or two. And he got out his ladder, secateurs, and um, proceeded to cut all of his hips off and gave them to me. I had a big bundle of um, cut rose hips, loads, absolutely loads. Uh, yeah, so get your rose hips from friends or family. Then you want to cut into them, get out the seeds within the hip, and then you can soak them. I soaked them for 48 hours. You wouldn't want to do it any more than that. There's a chance of rotting after that. Then you need to make up a mix of, um, you don't want to just put it in soil. Um, the Rose Valley Farm, the, the video I'll link, they used vermiculite. It's a very dry substrate. They use it sometimes for reptile substrates. Um, but he suggested just vermiculite. I added soil. Um, I just didn't like the look of the vermiculite. It's so dry and I was like, oh, they're not going to do well in that. So I mixed some soil. I would say half and half. And uh, first of all, put it into a bowl. You want to be able to control the moisture that you add to it. And then you do want to get it quite moist. You don't want to have it dripping if you squeeze it it's a good test squeeze it and you don't want it to drip uh, but you would like it to kind of form a shape so that's a good test and um, do that all in a bowl and then transfer that to um, Tupperware so here is a close-up of my Tupperware with the vermiculite which is the lighter substrate there and the soil and then I'll just do a little bit of the soil over. I won't completely cover them, just a little bit. Um, and you can see it's pretty damp. Um, so now we just have to put it in the fridge for three months. <laughs> we need patience to grow rose. The reason you put the uh, seeds in the fridge, this is mimicking winter. They need a cold and moist storage time for the seeds to awaken and germinate. Here they are going into the fridge next to the apple juice for three months. Farewell, see you in February. Uh, after about two and a half months, you can start checking. Uh, mine was bang on three months. Pretty much my first seedling to to come out um, and then I left the, all the seedlings in there um, just wanted to you I could have potted every single seed um, and hoped for the best but I don't have that kind of space so I only wanted to pot that which had sprouted I just had a li little peek at the rose seeds and here we have one little germination from all of them that's one but there's still chance that the others will germinate and that's taken four months since last November for that rose to germinate now I'll give it a few days until it's a little bit bigger and then I'll pop that into a plant pot of its own so that it can grow to be a big rose bush very exciting. So roses are big feeders. 
Uh, so you need good quality potting soil when you um, transplant them from the fridge. Um, and I mixed in some organic rose feed fertilizer um, in the bottom of the soil mix and um, keep them well watered. You can also, I read um, eggshells, mix that in a little bit with the soil, it helps prevent root rot. So that's something I didn't know that when I potted them. So I just sprinkled some um, eggshells on top and hope that helps. So in my excitement to see this little baby potted, I actually forgot to do a video. So I'll just um, explain it briefly that uh, I just got a knife to tease it out, um, but leaving everything else as untouched as possible. So I'll, I'll, I put that back in the fridge, the rest of the seeds and keep my fingers crossed. But this little baby can come out, get potted, now have its first taste of sunshine. So here is the rose a couple of days later. Looking a much darker green now that it's had access to sunlight. This uh, I started last November and the first rose that I um, removed was around February and is now, I guess, two months old. I'll show you how she is now. She did really well. Um, and then there's a few more that didn't do so well. Um, I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know if the seed wasn't maybe a good quality seed or if the, or if currently, I mean, it did the same process. One rose is, and the rest are, and they're not much time difference between them. Um, so out of all of the seeds I collected, I must have had, well, of all of them, after three months, I had one rose germinate. <laughs> and that's the one that's doing really well. And then I popped them all back in the fridge. And I just thought, I'll just wait, just hope for the best. Another one came, I potted that, that one died. Then I... Um, waited some more and then two came up at the same time and uh, so I've potted those as well and um, then I had another one recently come up and they're all kind of they're all alive except for there was there was um, a couple of mortalities but um, there were one that just does really well and I don't know what the difference is and I really just put it down to um, seed quality I'm hoping that was the rose from this wonderful neighbour because I did collect a few hips here and there um, around the neighbourhood um, and they were not as nice rose bushes but um, I just wanted to try as many as possible. I really wanted to be able to give them as presents. In my head they were all going to germinate and I was going to have like a new a new rose shop that I could <laughs> give all my roses to <laughs> because it would be the next birthday presents for everybody. Rose bushes. I was going to start my own breeding program of roses. <laughs> it's a dreaming big and I got one that really worked. Um, so yes, I'll show you. I will show you them now. So this is my first ever rose and get a... looking pretty good it was this big but for some reason I got the urge to prune prune it I and mean, I'm not sure it was a good idea so after pruning it there has new growth is coming so I've not killed it Later, I read after pruning it that um, possibly it's better just to let them get established before you start chopping into them. Give it a while, and this was only this is only like uh, a little bit over two months old, and uh, probably didn't need to prune it. But it seems to be okay. It was getting really tall, and it's sort of sitting in a place that it can't get very tall at the moment. Always getting dust, got dusty leaves. Yes, so that's that's the oldest. 
It looks very nice. It's got little thorns. Let's see if I can show you the thorn. Oh, so here you can see some baby thorns. It looks really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. The next is about two weeks younger. Look at it. I don't know what's wrong. I do not. Might be nothing wrong. Might have an amazing root system going on. But at the moment it's looking a little bit small. <laughs> There's another one here. Also, this is also very small. And this is like another week later. Interesting, I don't know what's going on, but uh, you know, it didn't die yet. This is, I took this out maybe a little bit too early, I think that might have been the problem. This is my amazing rose breeding program, <laughs> and this is from about 50 seeds, I have four roses. This one looks great. So great. It's been a nice little journey. It's very exciting when you look in the fridge and you've got a new sprout. You think, how do they grow in this cold fridge with no light that is the amazing power of the seed they're amazing oh, there's another one coming look at that baby grow baby grow <laughs> baby grow yeah the baby's growing that's how it looks when it first comes out I'm going to leave it a little a few days keep an eye on it and then I can pot it and hope that it did it uh, survives? So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this short video showing you how to grow a rose from seed, and I hope you try it yourself. <laughs>